progressive app, you can manage your auto policy from one place all the time. You can easily access your ID card, making payments simple and secure. Get help from roadside assistance when you need it most. Download the progressive app today and make insurance easy. Okay, so this is Subnautica. It is a uh, survival-based game, for those that don't know. And uh, basically you crash land on an ocean planet. And you gotta survive. And try to get off the planet. There's a little more to it story-wise, and we'll get to that. Uh, but first and foremost, this is Phoenix Crush 91, also known as Andrew, and I play for Rarebird Entertainment, along with others. Uh, I'm by myself today, but uh, let's let's go ahead and load up a survival. We're gonna play survival mode, and let, let's. Let's get into the thick of it. Uh, so, yeah. Takes a while to load, but... It's worth it. And I am paying attention to chat for those of you that are actually jumping in, so feel free to chat. I know us at uh, Rarebird are not very good at paying attention to chat, but I am this time. So... Starting a brand new game. Okay, on to the actual game. Blah, blah, blah. Outcome. This PDA has now rebooted in emergency mode with one directive to keep you alive on an alien world. Please refer to the data bank for detailed survival advice. Good luck. Okay. So. Uh, we're going. 
pick up the food and water out of here, we're going to go ahead and start collecting some resources. Welcome to Subnautica. So, picking up resources to kind of facilitate building new stuff. And, uh, <clears throat> trying to kind of get set up. pop up like that but still all powered equipment your probability of survival has just increased to unlikely but plausible <laughs> oxygen so the cool thing about this brain coral is it shoots out bubbles that'll give you oxygen it's kind of cool okay Keep picking up some supplies. New creature discovered. Oh, crash fish. They hurt. Okay. Detecting sulfur deposits in the local cave systems. Sulfur is an essential component of the repair tool. Ooh. That's not good. New creature discovered. Alien life forms may have unexpected applications. Oxygen. Utilizing alien resources is a proven survival strategy. So we're not doing too good, but you know. It's just casual anyways, just kinda. Playing for the sake of playing. Oxygen. Oxygen. Oh. Okay. Hey, listen. And they'll fight us too. Those are called stalkers. Ecological biomes. Further study recommended. We should be about ready to start making some stuff. Start with 
converting the metal salvage I picked up into titanium. Need lots of titanium throughout the game. It's one of the uh, main resources. And we're going to make... Don't really need water or food right now. I need a knife, so let's make silicone rubber. Okay, so we got us a knife. Weapons were removed from standard survival Hello. Following the massacre on Abraxas Prime. The knife remains the only exception. And then let's go ahead and make a repair tool. I kind of figured. It wasn't that hard to figure out it was you. <laughs> Chew up to today. So we repaired uh, some systems, get the ship going, my little life pod. Oh, that sucks. I hate not being able to sleep. Let's see, what do we need? We need to make a scanner. And I got the resources to do it. Oxygen tank helps too. <laughs> New blueprint acquired. The scanner can be used to synthesize blueprints from salvage technology and to record alien biological data. Let's see. Okay, so a repair tool kind of gets you repaired up. Now it's night on the planet. We also need to equip my scanner over here so we can start scanning Detecting increased things. Radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core sustained during planet fall. Quit moving. There we go. There's the ship we crashed off uh, crashed off of. <laughs> but yeah, Subnautica is pretty fun. Okay. 
This is a favorite gasopod. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely fun to play. Just kind of survival creative. I think it's only 20 bucks. I, if I recall correctly, this is like my third file, because I made one, and I actually clipped it, uh, clipped through, because it's still kind of in beta, and wound up going to the final area, and I was not too happy about that. Oh, gosh. Drop to tooth and I won it. Uh, so I kind of quit playing on my main file. And, uh. Then. Good morning, honey. Do what? No, it's not, mommy. I'm more or less talking to Becca. Uh, mommy's at work. But... Uh... Then I did a hardcore mode, and I died, and that kinda sucks, cause they start you, they erase your save completely. If you die. So... that much about scanning the animals that doesn't really matter I don't know why I'm doing it this is what the scanner is important for finding fragments okay let's see Get over here. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, Heather's even played it a little bit. Uh, I mean, I took it off the mode that has all the oxygen, health, food, and water. Because there's just kind of like a creative mode where you can build. Uh, and she likes it. I think most people in your family would like this, actually. Like, even your dad might like it. Might. New creature discovered. But <laughs> she says hello. Oxygen. Oxygen. Okay. Oh, we're blacking out, we're blacking out, will we make it? We made it. Okay, where's my 
life on there. It is. You can't see? What do you mean you can't see? out of this fish that's kind of cool ladder fish of course there's other ways to make water too but let's see what do we want Flashlight, that's what we want to make. I don't have a flashlight yet. I will have a flashlight. Just a second. Yeah, you can see plenty of fishes. That's not what I wanted. Battery. That's what I wanted. Do do do. Flashlight. Okay. So we got us a scanner, a repair tool, a flashlight, a survival knife. Next up is a habitat builder. So we need another battery. This is Life Pods 3, uploading our coordinates. We're plugging some holes in our emergency sea glide, so if we're late for the rendezvous, don't panic. Also, don't go home without us. Seriously. Three out. Okay. Oops. Creep vine rotted. Or I could use it. So you uh, get little radio calls and stuff from uh, other people that survived, and we'll go meet up with them in a bit. Right now, we're just trying to get stocked up on some items. Trying to... get some upgrades like I, I built an oxygen tank but there's an upgraded op oxygen tank and there's up like swim fins to increase swim speed and stuff like that so just trying to get some stuff uh, find uh, pieces of stuff too like what was in there, because that's the one I already got. Uh, so that I can unlock other things to build. Oh, it's okay, honey. It won't get us. Silver-based wiring kits are an essential component of many habitat modules. Uh. 
Oh. Oxygen. So every resource has its purpose, of course. Oh, hush. Thirty seconds. There we go. Got it. Every resource has its purpose. Some are more important than others. Probably the most important resource is titanium, because it's used in, like, everything. And then, uh... Right now, we're looking for some silver. Lead is important for, uh... Radiation problems and stuff later. So you find resources in these little outcrops. And there's different kinds of outcrops. Sandstone, limestone, shell. Uh, so on and so forth. I think there's more than that. But I'm kinda, kinda blanking right now. Oh, hush. But hush, hush isn't a bad word. Oxygen. I'm not going to say a bad word to you. I try not to say any bad words at all so this can go up on the YouTube. Because it's been a long time since anything's been uploaded to our YouTube. So. Come on, swimming faster would be nice. Caution. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core may result in a quantum detonation. Continue to monitor. Son of a gun. Okay. Anyways. Back to the, uh, the hunt. We don't really need that right now. Need a little more silver ore. You don't have to keep going back to the fabricator like I do to look up what you need either. You can pull it up in your blueprints. So, just so you know. Okay, we're gonna go back to the surface real quick, get some air, and then we're gonna dive down.
Come on, pick up. There we go. And see, this is where the flashlight comes in handy. That I built. Because we can. Light up and see in these dark caves. A common complication for cave divers is loss of orientation, followed by eventual asphyxiation. Oxygen. Oh, hush. I ain't worried about oxygen. Come on. Okay, maybe I should be. We're gonna die. But it's alright. You'll see. So, when you die, you lose some belongings, which I didn't lose too, too much. Nothing too important. Uh, and you go back, not necessarily to your life pod like it so happened this time. Uh, sometimes, uh, I, I mean, it kind of depends on what you have built and everything. So we're gonna cook some fish. The fabricator cooks small organs some fish. while disposing of the skeletal structure, bodily fluids, and internal organs, thus rendering them safe for human consumption. It is common for those accustomed to synthetic foods to be repulsed by eating an animal carcass. Remember that humans survived this way for millennia. Okay. So we can swim a little bit faster. Provide environment appropriate equipment using locally available materials. For your okay. safety, this setting cannot be overridden. See, right now we're in uh, there's several different biomes in this game right now we're uh, in the safe shallows uh, kind of this is the kelp forest but it's pretty much part of the safe uh, safe shallows as well it gets deeper there's actually scary fish. So, if you can't read that small font, basically it says I have two out of three fragments for the uh, mobile vehicle bay, I believe is what it's called. trap fragment, which I've never even used a grav trap, so we might try that out in this. Especially now that I have the full thing. Trash can. Beacon fragment. One of two.
down in that area is probably around about where I'll build my base once we have the habitat builder. Yep, there's a sand shark. One of two for the bioreactor. Short range scans suggest this biome supports extensive biodiversity and connects to a number of small cave networks. So, <clears throat> oh, and in case you're wondering, uh, the left bumper button and the right bumper button allow you to swim up and down. Okay, back to hunting for some resources. Okay, so this is the first time you get to really see it. But this stalker has a virus. Integrating new PDA data. See all those green spots on it. That's somewhat important to the uh, underlying story. Come on, make it. Make it, make it, make it, make it, make it, make it. Okay. Ah, laser cutter fragment. That's also important. We'll be needing that. So there's two of three for the laser cutter frag uh, laser cutter. Time, so don't need the flashlight. Okay. Yep, that's a sand shark.
<sighs> Let's see. What am I going to do? Local radiation readings suggest the Aurora's drive core has reached a critical state. Quantum detonation will occur within two hours. Quantum detonation. Okay, now we can make the habitat builder. The builder tool is designed to construct habitat. And we can standing extreme environmental conditions. Let's go ahead and cook another fish. Consider disguising the flavor of unsavory meats with salt or locally sourced herbs and spices. So we're not going to build a habitat quite just yet. Okay. Getting pretty full there. Okay. So now the next <clears throat> main thing is we want to make a sea glide, but we don't have all the blueprints to it yet. So we're gonna go look for some blueprints. And we're actually, you know what? Where is it? There it is. We're going to go to that. Life pod 3. And see what's going on with them.
Got another radio broadcast. So here's life pod three. Data. Compass, that's going to be useful. New blueprint acquired. And we got half blueprint for a sea glide. We're running low on water, so let's go ahead and we're going to make water a different way this time. What's in you? Mobile vehicle bay fragment. So that's the last of that. Creature egg. That's actually a rabbit ray egg. I hatched all the eggs in my first playthrough. All but one. Origin recorded to data bank. Preparing okay. these water rations ahead of time will help ensure against dehydration Go and eventual death. So, a compass would be really nice, but I don't think I got enough silver right now. Oh, I do. Sweet. So, let's go ahead and Six is one of the ones we gotta figure out. That's okay.
So. Let's see. We need to find some more stuff. We gotta finish finding the sea glide. Survivor, you have exceeded your weekly exercise quotient by 500%. Data indicates that swimming is your favorite activity. Be sure to vary my routine for uniform muscle development. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. So, the Aurora blew up. New blueprint acquired. For your convenience, the radiation suit has been added to your blueprint database. Now we're going to go into the Aurora and we're going to go in there actually not too long from now. But, I think... That that's about where I'm going to call it quits for now. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's going to take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime. Okay. So yeah, that's gonna be quits for now. I'll probably be back on later today. But maybe not. And yeah. Talk to you later.